Hi everyone! So, for our assignment, we of course were given the topic of choosing one study skill that really works for you to try and teach other people and try and help them. So for me, my study skill that I think is the most important is repetition. So a lot of people will go to class, not read their textbook, and just sit through class, copy down the notes, not really pay attention to class, and then study everything the night before the test to try and have a grasp of what they've been trying to what you should have been learning for the past month um so yeah i don't think that's the best way to go about it so personally for me i think that you need to read the textbook and take notes before you go to class so that way even if you don't understand it because a lot of the time you won't um, textbooks aren't necessarily the best at explaining everything sometimes. Um, so even if you don't understand it, take notes on it. Because even just going through it, you get the basic concepts of like terminology and different things that you're still ahead of other students that haven't done any work at all. So then when you get to class, the teacher clarifies those concepts that you don't you didn't really understand the textbook, so it's like, oh my gosh, I get it now. So that's your second time seeing the material, so it's already in your head twice, so it's like recalling on past memory. Then, when you do the homework, that's your third time seeing the material. That you're way ahead of everybody else because you've had experience of seeing practice problems in the book and actually having notes, so if you have to go back and check, um, you, you have notes on all the different formulas or whatever it is. Um, also along with the whole class thing is actually paying attention in class and being an active listener and taking notes. A lot of people will just sit through class, copy down what's on the board, and then leave not really understanding anything that went on. And then they'll go and try and study for the test the night before, which isn't, we'll get back to that later, but then they don't really know even when they get to the test what's actually going on because they just tried to cram for it because they didn't pay attention in class. So paying attention in class and copying down the notes is also an important step to the repetition process. So then after you do your homework then you review if you still don't feel comfortable um, later like say at the end of the week when you have spare time be like oh I didn't really understand this concept let me see let me look over my notes again and just kind of finalize everything. Only if you spend 15 minutes, that will still be another time that you get the material in. Um, and then maybe you still don't get something. Maybe I should look up a YouTube video. YouTube videos are actually really helpful, especially for math and science, because sometimes you just, you don't know. Um, and then obviously like going to office hours, if you don't get it, that's pretty good as well. Um, but then as the test date starts coming up, maybe say, hey, I'm going to sit down for 10 minutes and just look over the first chapter if you have a test on, like, four chapters. Um, and that you'll find that you remember the information a lot easier because you've seen it so many other times. Um, so I think that's really good. And then the night before the test, you have less to actually do when you feel a lot more comfortable going into the test because you've seen everything a lot of times. There's actually a lot of studies that have been um, done showing that repetition is the key to a lot of people's success. So like even for, I don't know, say for physics or something, if you don't understand something the first time, a lot of people don't do well in their first physics class and then they go back to it and are like, oh my gosh, it makes so much more sense now because you've seen it so many times like, especially after the first test, you're using those concepts throughout the rest of the class, if that makes sense. So, repetition is key when it comes to being a good student. So, I hope that helped in any way. Um, but I really don't believe that cramming the night before a test is the way to success at all. Because in the long term, you're, you're not going to rem remember it. Say you need to build on that information for another class you're not going to remember what you learned last semester if you studied for two hours an hour before you took the test. So if you've seen it multiple times, you'll remember it for longer and there's studies proving it. So I hope that helps and 
I look forward to seeing all your responses.